What does Usher know? I don't know. Mom, you know? It's 7 o'clock on the dot. He's in his drop top. I know that. <laughs> we gonna find out. Let's get into it. All right, we got P. Diddy and celebrities, Charlie. Y'all already know what happened to Diddy, baby old demon. Um, it's getting wild. Is that a here. new name now? Nah, that's what I'm calling him now. Oh, God. thousand, thousand bottles of baby oil. Anyway, nah. we go for that. But yeah, um, obviously we're gonna get into it. Obviously we're gonna see what other people. Obviously with this case, you know Diddy gonna be snitching. I ain't gonna lie. So we gotta he see what other people got accomplices. Did you hear about the? There was a tweet that was saying like, "Yo, Diddy's not eating none of the the food he getting in jail because they think like that he gonna poison him." I'm they like, probably Yo. will. Yeah, nah, that is true. But like, <laughs> I mean, like, yo, but this the this the diddly we talking about, though. Yeah, but he like so it's like it, it's crazy. But yeah, y'all, obviously, if you want to watch the original video, down in the description below. Shout out Charlie, go subscribe. Charlie, what up, Charlie? Let's see what he's got to say. All of you probably know by me now, and job, by they the way. finally yeah, caught the dastardly diddler. P. Diddy has See? been arrested, <laughs> and I imagine that scene looks straight out of Batman Arkham Asylum when they have, like, Joker strapped to that thing walking him through the insane asylum. This guy is a menace that terrorized the entire music industry for decades. I I've gone over his Again. lore a lot, so I'm not just going to regurgitate all of that. There's a lot of new things I want to talk about that's been happening as a result of him being arrested. Oh, the first thing that happened almost immediately is they put him under suicide I watch. It was like I a said speed that. run to get him back. I said that. I said that. Mm -hmm. And that's crazy, too. Because I'm not going to lie. If I was in his situation. Mm -mm. Don't talk about food in your mouth. Yeah. No, but seriously, though. If I was in his situation. <laughs> what option do we got left? Bro. They caught me. What are you supposed to do? Mm. I don't know. It's crazy. Like, bro. I don't know. He's on suicide watch by jailers. They have to gotta watch him. So the jailers are watching him. He's standing by his cell. I'm assuming like they gotta oh, keep. They didn't even say the CEOs or something. You really think he in cell block one? <laughs> no. Anyway. Nah, we stop playing. <laughs> I don't know if that's standard protocol or if they found something that made them believe he might hurt himself, like he was smuggling razor blades in his butthole, or maybe they were worried Charlie, that without stop. baby oil what? he'd just take his own life because he doesn't know how to live without baby oil. <laughs> baby I really oil demon. tell you, maybe Yo, this Charlie, is just stop. procedure. That's what they're saying it is, calling <laughs> it procedural suicide watch for high-profile clients, but I've only seen this once before in a case like this, and it was Epstein. And in his case, it was more like suicide, don't watch, because it didn't really do much. <laughs> Very suspicious, but... He killed himself? Yeah. In jail? Or like, they don't really know. Oh, I shouldn't they're, say They're words, assuming right? he did that, but, oh. like, obviously, you know, conspiracy theory saying uh, they might have killed him, something might have happened, you know. Uh, yada, oh, yada, so yada. he's not alive anymore. But okay. who cares? It was Epstein. We talking about conspiracies. Brother, y'all want him to... Y'all want... Bro. Nah. <laughs> I'm like, bro, y'all want him to keep being around? Sure. We're not here to talk about that. Point is, though, this happened one, immediately around. upon like, him being taken ooh. into custody for the most part, like within a couple of days. And since his arrest, tons of clips and videos and information about who associated with P. Mm -hmm. Diddy has been coming out. And what did y'all think was going to happen? It's a lot like... of big celebrities. Mm -hmm. P. Diddy was a very well-connected person. There were huge names at his freak off mm -hmm. events <laughs> there's a lot of people that absolutely knew what p diddy was doing and there's going to most likely be a lot of big celebrities that get implicated in some heinous shit in their connection with mm -hmm. diddy one person right now that a lot of people Yo. are having their eyes on is usher of course I'm it is usher as well. of course it is yo usher what do you know what do you know everything you was at the puffy flavor camp I know it was seven o'clock, and he had to get in that drop top and get up out of that camp. <laughs> That's what he do. Shoot, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, he ain't wanna leave. Cause this remember, this is my confession. <laughs> <laughs> but then you gotta remember, not nah, him. Yo, him and Puffy, they was fighting over the frosted flakes. He ain't wanna leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -mm. Yo, Kevin was like, yo, <laughs> yo, that joke was so funny. But nah, bro, Usher, you're done for. What do you know? Yeah. Please let me know. Mm -hmm. Yo, I ain't gonna Someone lie. talking about P. Diddy being arrested, and it's because Usher has gone on record talking about his time at Puffy Flavor Camp. 
which hmm. again I think is the most mm. on the nose shit ever. Like that just sounds like an evil diddler organization. It does. Mm. Puffy fucking like, flavor camp. Puffy. So anyway, puffy. When a- puffy. What is it? Puffy. Puffy. Puck as puff daddy. Oh my god. Puffy this is so ridiculous. Flavor. Nah, mom. Be honest with me though. And and for y'all, y'all parents watching too. Yo, y'all sending y'all children, bro. To the puffy flavor camp, bro. Cause what? What's that this like? That sounds like some cartoon how, stuff. How old was Usher and Bieber? Like thirteen, like fifteen, some John. Mm. All right, so where y'all sending them to the after school program? Usher, I mean not Usher. The, Justin, the puff, puffy, puffy flavor name? camp. Justin Bieber, he was fifteen. Remember, cause in the yeah, video, like, now nah, he's like thirteen. He John. said, um, oh, I thought he was fifteen. No, he said, yeah, no, he's saying when he, he turned sixteen. Yeah, oh, no, I think no, he, he was actually, fifteen. No, he right said, now, I had my, I had my permit. Yeah. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. Yo, was they not victims of grooming? And then like, he let's, said, come on, let's go like, get some girls. Remember? Anyway, all right, come on, play this. Cause... Yo, and some of y'all are really going to try to defend. Yo, y'all are crazy, bro. Yo, wow. Uh... Usher was a kid in the 90s. He lived with P. Diddy for a year at this puffy flavor camp. And he went on Howard Stern's show and talked mm-hmm. a little bit about his experience. Kind of vaguely, but mentioned multiple times that there were things going on that he just couldn't understand and probably shouldn't have been experiencing. Yeah, this is when the asked real if he would send his kid life. to a puppy flavor lie. camp, he said, "Hell no." This is someone <laughs> who lived through. The- Why not? <laughs> you was yo, there. Yo, yo, Ash, you gonna send your kids to the puffy flavor camp? Cause it turned out like pretty successful, right? I mean, you are a pretty uh, good artist. Sure. What? <laughs> who is gonna be like, yeah? With Diddy? No. In the Big 24, yeah, we going we gonna to say goodbye. <laughs> the evilness of P. Diddy and did nothing to prevent it from happening to others, like Justin Bieber, another puffy flavor camp veteran. <laughs> a, a lot of Bieber clips have surfaced from when he was a kid veteran, in Hollywood, and it is fucking yes. foul. Not like, just in relation to P. Patty's Diddy, so but in crazy. general, the way Hollywood like openly sexualized him as a kid yeah. is absurd. Like, that shit is crazy. Anyway, though, back to Usher. He's never spoken out against Diddy or anything, whether that's out of fear or maybe he really thinks that what happened to him is just the norm in Hollywood because... Well, it is the norm, but anyway. The norm? Yeah, going to the puffy flavor camp is the norm. It's a lot of stuff happening out there in Hollywood and New York, so it's the norm. Yeah, I'm going to let y'all have that norm. I'm going to keep my norm over here, though. She's like, mm-mm. Nah, bro, mm-mm. it's because, yo, we know, do with it. we know Puff got mad dirt on him, but at the same time, you could count it as, as grooming. But then at the same time, like, they still been close, what, to this day? Right? Because even when Usher, obviously was an adult, because Usher, like, what, 40-something? Nah, bro, Usher, you you know, yo, I know you've done some. Like, not not even trying to, like, I, I You here. mean participating in some of them freak-offs? Or more things. I don't know. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Or he, or at least this. He's an accomplice because he has to know about something. Even if he didn't never participate in none of this, mm-hmm. John, he's definitely an accomplice. Because, bro, you know some of this stuff is going on. You're not telling nobody? You're not telling the cops? I feel sorry for um. Why not? Then I'm like, all right, did what did you do? Um, bodyguards because they know everything. Oh yeah, they nah. had to be there to protect them. Nah, they probably participate. I'm sorry because mm-hmm. if you gon' if if you gonna prioritize Diddy's life over your own life, nah, I'm sorry, bruh. Nah, you 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 100. percent You past accomplice, bro. Which which you been doing? Mm-hmm. Like, nah. Where were you at this exact time? <laughs> nah, bro. It's so bad, bro. It really is, bro. But thank God, hey yo, we getting all these weird bulls off the streets mm-hmm. and in cell block one. I ain't gonna lie. P. Diddy was so connected, and so many artists went through him and were put through horrible mm-hmm. shit Ooh, they had that with list. P. Diddy that list. because mm-hmm. they were convinced that they had to go through that in order to be successful in the industry because P. Diddy told them that, and people told them that. That's so P. Crazy. Diddy would be like the kingmaker, so you'd have to be, you know, be fucking waterboarded by baby oil and all kinds of like <laughs> depraved Charlie, shit stop. for P. Diddy in he order to be successful. So Otherwise, he might ruin your career before it even starts. He was the boogeyman of the industry. So whether Usher is afraid of what P. Diddy might have on him or if he doesn't view what happened to him as like a bad thing, I I have no way of knowing why, but he's never spoken out against Diddy, which has made a lot of people really suspicious of Usher. And then yesterday, he deleted all of his tweets. He then put out a quick statement saying, account got hacked. This is what I was talking about. And the other gym when he had... um. Yeah, he deleted all his tweets. I'm looking at you like, bro. He said his account got hacked. His account got hacked. 
and then y'all ran with it. See y'all tonight. <clears throat> I wonder if people must have been saying stuff. Of course they did, because think about this. Because I was really thinking about this, John, when I was watching other heads talk about this. You hack Usher, one of the most successful artists of all time, and the only thing you do is delete all his tweets. Only thing you're doing. You're not trying to go through any any other personal information to go get in some bank account or something. The only thing you did was delete all your tweets. That's it. Okay. Let's really think about it. Because what, what other reason? Like, like I know heads be trolling and they be doing a lot in this day and age, but, like, bruh, you got into Usher's account. Usher. You ain't do nothing else but delete <laughs> tweets? He could do that himself. Hmm. Or better yet, maybe if it wasn't him, bruh, this is, again, Usher. Mm -hmm. He has a whole team. His team got teams. Mm -hmm. his, pro yo, his production manager could have been like, body account, bruh. Diddy done said everything. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> like, bro, what are we talking about, bro? We know this is because of the Diddy thing, bro. We not about to say, like, yo, they really think we still in this NPC John, bro. Like, it, is it not clear? I don't know, bro. Y'all could think whatever, bro. It's just opinions around here, bro. Mm. Then damn y'all ran with it. Crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji. See you tonight. I mean, I don't think there's anyone on the planet that believes that. You, nope. You'd have to get up pretty early in the morning to try and pull this fast one on someone. Like, who who in the world would take that hook, line, and sinker? You're telling me a hacker went on your Twitter and the only thing they did was secretly delete all of your tweets? Who was the hacker? Your PR manager? What? Usually when an account gets hacked on Twitter, two things happen. Either it starts spamming slurs and, like, unhinged tweets or it starts promoting crypto scams why would someone hack him just That's to scrub his twitter from potentially damaging tweets that might be used as evidence potentially <laughs> like the timing and that's exactly what i was just saying too i'm like bro that doesn't make any sense bro because when and, and when you really think about it when people are getting canceled what is like the main three three johns they usually getting canceled over because they spread some messages or mm -hmm. something twitter discord or, um, I, well, I, I don't want to say the gram now because, well, it could be the gram. Smart school boy now. Kick. Uh, kick. Nah, mm -hmm. I'm talking about in, in terms of like a messaging, John. Like, it, like oh. you know. Oh, kick's not messaging? I mean, you can communicate on kick or whatever. Oh, I'm assuming they streaming? do, but it's not like you're not about to go on kick to text your text your friend, but you will go on Discord and okay. iMessage. Oh, that's what it was. I'm stupid. Text messages, I message, mm -hmm. I, I message Jones. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Discord and then, what's the name? I ain't gonna lie to bro. Either way, it doesn't even matter. Bro, it just doesn't make any sense. Why did, why does he think that we wouldn't think that this joint was on purpose? Like I He did it. Of course he did it. Well, his team team did it. His, his team's, team's team, team, team did it. Team did it. And I don't, I don't care who did it. It was still your account that all your Jones is gone. Mm. That makes no sense that must be like the most helpful hacker of all time who hacked this guy <laughs> captain america trying to protect him or something like what i can confidently say that's a load of baloney right there that is some dirty barnacles usher dirty did barnacles. not get hacked uh, but no, maybe there's I'm a joking. chance he himself didn't go through and delete them he might have had one of his managers do it uh, like that's possible i guess they but could do it. either way it doesn't matter it was a conscious decision to go through and scrub his twitter it had to be. that's the only thing that makes sense Diddy gets arrested, and then a few days later, his whole Twitter account is scrubbed, and he had a very close relationship with Diddy. Like, I mean, that's super suspicious. Mm -hmm. And then exactly, they try to claim like, that it was a hacker who did it secretly. Like, what? It just doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Now, there was another celebrity who also scrubbed her Twitter, and it's Pink. I saw her name floating around yo, I in regards yo, to, like, I'm scrubbed. not even going to lie to you, Mom. Until this controversy, I completely forgot Pink even existed. I was like, yo. What does Pink have to do with... Because apparently she was associated with Diddy as she well. She was on the list. I think I remember seeing her name on that list. Twitters as well, where people were claiming Pink had just scrubbed all of her tweets as well because of Diddy's arrest. So I looked into that because I never heard about Pink and Diddy being close or anything, but Me I also either. wasn't That's the most saying. tapped into Hollywood and the music industry connections. Also agree. And yeah. what I learned is that Pink didn't just scrub her Twitter in light of Diddy's arrest. She actually deleted all of her tweets back in February. So seven Bro. months ago, she did that <laughs> as a way of just stepping away from social media because she said she okay. didn't enjoy it. So it doesn't sound like it has anything to do with Diddy. Okay. And from everything I've looked at, she's never like been publicly around Diddy. Like it doesn't seem like they're friends or anything. I, I can't find anything of her 
talking positively mm -hmm. about it or yeah, attending one of his freak that. off events or anything. Mm -hmm. You know, I, know I, I don't bro. see any connection like that, so I don't think. I nah. All I know is that if you on the Diddy accomplice list, bro, I'm seeing you later, boss. Like it's done. Like, right? Even having the sliver of connection with Diddy is bad, bro. Because now we have to sit here and question all your actions, bro. All your motives, everything you've ever done. Like, what was your intentions, for real, for real, though? Because this fool had this fool had a literal baby oil dungeon or some John, bro. I don't know what was going on, bro. He he was having. Bro, what is a freak off? I'm still trying to figure it out to this day, Maybe bro. In here. What is a freak off? Maybe I hope y'all don't start saying that. Huh? Yo, some <laughs> crazy, <laughs> nah, yes, some it. some big three times of three times of those. Yo, like, bro, like I hope I hope freak offs. They don't wasn't start coming in those words. white cloths. They was just coming in. You said in white. Cloths. <laughs> Yeah, because that's what the orgies are. They used to come in with the white cloths and that's it. Oh, nah, you talking about some they, crazy. Nah, yeah, they were just what? coming in. They was coming in with Yo, the white cloths. They were just coming I'm in. I'm you talking about the other bulls. I'm like, what? No. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. But even still, though, yeah, nah, I don't know what's going on with this, John. But I'm just not going to lie to you, bro. If you on the list, bro, it's done for, bro. Just know your life, mm, your life done changed. <laughs> mm. I ain't going to lie, bro. It's just, it's, mm, mm, mm. I think she deleted her tweets because of P. Diddy. I do believe Usher did, though. I don't yeah, think it's some kind of coincidence that his Twitter account gets mysteriously hacked and he has all of his tweets deleted after P. Diddy's arrest and after the public becomes really well aware of how many people P. Charlie Diddy was close with. That just... Something smells a little fishy there. So, I think this is <laughs> no, just the beginning stank, of okay, we, we celebrities <laughs> and P. Diddy... Right like putting the spotlight on the awful shit that they were all privy to like i said p diddy is a very well connected person for decades mm -hmm. apparently he was also a big enthusiast of filming some things at these events and would use some oh, of it as like dirt on people that no. attended them and that'd be another black, way he that's used sad to the that's black sad male is real <laughs> that's sad oh, no he said if i ever Ever get caught or something happening yes. to me? I got it. Yeah. I got it right. Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> Hold his phone to his bodyguard. Yeah. Hold his phone. Give me he the says, other so here's what we're gonna do. I'm like, nah, bro. Give he, me the other phone. They really had Diddy in there thinking he was God, bro. Like this is crazy. Keep people's mouth shut about some of the stuff that would happen there. But I do think that the tapes will probably get confiscated at some point, and I think that information will probably lead to a lot of celebrities. Yeah. Getting into some big hot water. Mm, now, mm. there is a celebrity oh, that I haven't mentioned yet that has been in the spotlight a little bit as a result of P. Diddy being arrested, and it's Kevin Hart. So, Kevin Hart is in a P. Diddy What are they about to say about Charlie Wood wait, Kevin? The, um, wait, nah, nah. Is this the vid that we was watching? Oh, no, wait. At one of the freak-off events, Kevin Hart is there. Uh -huh. And... Okay, go ahead. Come on. No, wait. I have to read this now. No. Actor Kevin Hart has been making news after he was actually spotted at Sean Combs. At Sean Love Combs. What? Sean Love. Yo, how? How does? How does everything associated with Diddy somehow okay. implicate him to being like? like how okay, is this even possible, bro? Like, nah. Sean Love Combs, aka Diddy's parties, in a video <laughs> gone viral on TikTok. Hart was seen in next. Wait, Hart was seen next to a bathtub i thought it said in the bathtub okay. like, what speaking to a cameraman holding a microphone with a woman seated next to him another female guest dressed in bikini seen sitting in a bathroom behind him however in a startling moment the lady's hair catches fire coming kind of one of the candles plays around the tub Kevin Hart struck the camera crew cup but the footage continued with the comedian reassuring that the girl's fine adding the proper situation have been implemented dang her hair got caught on fire and said say say ah you're weed flammable bro talk stop <laughs> <laughs> nah me joke but yeah, nah, hey, yo, Kevin. The video yo. at one of the freak off you, events, bro, Kevin Hart is there. And people are claiming that after P. Diddy got arrested, Kevin Hart closed all of his restaurants. Kevin Hart has a fast food chain called Hart House. And they are claiming that he shut down all of those restaurants as a result of P. Diddy being arrested, trying to like get ahead of it. Uh, but see, from what I can see, this see, is where Twitter he actually closed gets down those restaurants yeah. a week before P. Diddy got arrested. So yeah. that might not be the reason. But wonder why? For it, what but happened to the restaurant? Be, I think maybe he wasn't doing things, well. If it was a week before, like the Diddy thing, I don't think it was. No, I got nothing to do with Diddy. I now want to know why. Like, yeah, was it was it doing it wasn't doing well? Maybe not. I wonder what happened. Business Wait, wasn't, wasn't well. Wait, wasn't he selling them vegan food? Like, yeah, because yeah, I wanted to taste that burger. Why. 
Yeah, and a vegan Jones not gonna because hey, nothing against vegans, bro. I eat whatever y'all want to. I don't care. But like, yeah, it's not just it's just not that popular, and especially with the negative no, connotations not, with not social media now. Yeah, like, and, it's just and not, it costs a lot. Do well. Yeah, and it yes, it, it's just especially expensive. We had a cheap vegan. Understand. You could you could get that off cheap vegan. Why do you think people people stay fat, bro? Because if you want to get a good diet, which is the main portion of of losing weight, if y'all didn't yeah. know, it's not really exercise. Well, exercise is obviously a good portion of, but it's really diet, bro. Because you can exercise all you want if you're still eating chocolate and cookies and jelly, bro. You're not, bro. Yo, I put some romaine lettuce and some turkey. Turkey, go cut turkey. Ten dollars just for the two items. That's what I'm saying. So imagine these like, keto diets be costing fifty dollars. I'm like, bro, I'm about to just be fat, bro. You crazy, bro. All right, come on. But like, nah, it, it, it's just ridiculous in terms of that too. I'm just like, I, I'm just looking at this whole situation like, bro. They should have been had Diddy, bro. Like, I don't like, bro. There was so many things going against him. He had eleven. Remember the eleven civil cases he got just last year. I'm like, bro, civil complaints. I'm like... Coming with P. Diddy, getting arrested, because so much evidence has been coming to light so quickly. So there is still that chance, but I do think it's more likely Kevin Hart shut them down for other reasons outside of that. Yeah. And that I Kevin Hart so. is probably still guilty of some horrible shit at these P. P. Diddy events. Most likely, but I don't know yeah. if that was the reason behind closing down the no. restaurants. Nah. Again, though, I do think there's going to be a lot of information that comes out about mm. a lot mm. of celebrities mm. as a result mm. of we'll be P. Diddy's covering arrest. It. Oh, so yeah, I will. just wanted to give a little update here because there's a lot happening mm. quickly <laughs> when it comes to P. Diddy and so this you arrest. Freaky so you freaky frog. That jumped yeah. crying. <laughs> <laughs> Freaky frogs. Mm. Nah, this joint is crazy, though. I'm not going to cap to y'all, bro. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, we going to see the diddler later, man. Mm. Um, I'm not sure what else to say. Like, <laughs> they going to have P. Diddy, Usher, and a song confession playing. I'm going to be like, Ush. <laughs> <laughs> this is my confession. That's what they going to have. Mom going to be singing that joint. I'm sitting there like this. <laughs> Like, bro, stop. I just, I don't understand. Yo, Usher, like, Usher really just put himself in a lose-lose when I really, really, really think about it because it's like, bro, the fact that you don't want to say anything, it, it just automatically implicates that you did something as well. The fact that you wouldn't want to say nothing about Diddy even though you don't but, have. But you don't have to say anything unless somebody asks. Maybe they didn't ask. He don't want to just go volunteering info. If you see him do very illegal or actions that's making you very uncomfortable he or putting people in harm's way, he was growing you up around need it. to snitch immediately. I'm sorry. Like, bro, I ain't going to lie. Yo, like, yo, I know the stigma around snitching, but, bro, this is the time we need to snitch because, bro, if I, I don't care who, I don't care who, who it is. Yo, if mom caught the mansion, right, and I walk in the mansion that mom owned and she got a thousand bottles of baby oil, bro, you get snitched on, big bro. My bad. Right. You get snitched right. on. What you like dry, mean? I don't like dry skin. I don't, yo, me either, but I don't need a thousand, bro. This, yo, them free calls mm -mm. was crazy, bro. Mm -mm. Nah, them Jones was crazy. And this one I'm talking about, you getting snitched on us. So Nobody's like, volunteering any information. Usher, you need to volunteer a lot of information. Right? Usher, Why? Grew, Usher and Why? Justin Bieber grew up around that, okay. so that's norm. No, nah, no, nah, it's not normal. Everything I don't Sean care if they got doing, groomed, bro. You can Usher can acknowledge even if he got groomed and he think that was okay, like uh Tell it was saying, which I don't even believe is true either. But obviously we'll never find out because Usher would have to say that himself. But bruh, if you're saying on the interview, bruh, you wouldn't want to have your own kid go there, like in the same position as you. What happened that would make you not want them no, to go there? This is what I'm talking about. So what are you said, not saying? Um the status that I have, I don't need my kids to go there. He could have said that. See? Ah, Mom's so PR. That's so exciting. <laughs> the status that I have, I don't need yeah. my children to go there. Nah, nah, I would definitely say something like that, too. I'm like, nah, they don't, they don't need to go, man. I, I just feel like I, I I learned a lot in my own past. I learned a lot of wisdoms that I could just share on them, bless mm -hmm. them with that, bro. They don't, they, they don't need to learn. Not H, no. Puff, puff daddy. <laughs> At the puffy camp. At the puffy flavor camp. <laughs> I get y'all a card. What kind of flavor is puffy? I... <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Right, go, on. go ahead and ask them. How the flavor is puffy? I don't know. I can think about cotton candy. I can think of that puff yeah. stuff, the stuff nah, inside actually. the container. Bumbaka! Nah, that's right. That, yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. All right, come on. We but yeah, here. yeah, yo, we that was here. PDD and Celebrities. Uh, Charlie, obviously, mainly about Usher. We still trying to figure out, Usher, what do you know? Uh, mm -hmm. Please let us know. But it's going to come out regardless. It don't matter, bro. Mm -hmm. We're in, we in the internet age. Everything's coming out now. You getting snitched on. Yeah. And canceled. We're going to see you later. But um, 
yeah obviously if you like the video like this john mm -hmm. if you obviously enjoy charlie please go subscribe to him yes, again charlie. like i said in the beginning the link Hi, will charlie. be down in the description below if you want to go watch it yourself no cap give your own opinions and conjecture yes but like i said like this video subscribe mm -hmm. boy yes subscribe I ain't gonna lie, we need to get to 2500 yes, then 3k yes then we're 100k trying. We're trying. then a billion i'm just okay. like trillion yeah, I, ain't gonna lie. Trillion I don't know trillion. why you showing that shirt. That ain't a trade advice. Trill? Oh, trill. I thought you showed a trade advice. I ain't gonna lie. Turn on the anyway. notification bell. So, whenever Mom and Trill yes. post a new videos, what? I said I'm Mom. Whenever Mom and Trill post new videos, you They'll have to watch the whole hot thing. On your feed. Uh, <laughs> and then you gotta then, watch the whole thing. And then it'll be fresh on your feed. But you then it'll be fresh hot on your feed. Then you gotta watch the whole thing. <laughs> Yo, mom, thing. mom finally, after how long it's been, like, what, almost like a year and a half, she finally got it down? Anyway. Try nah. But, yeah, nah, seriously, though, mom. Mom. Trail. Trail. And we're going to catch you on the flip. Peace. Peace.